Volume Reloaded. It is me, right? It is she, right? It is Vera. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. And I am back in the building. Back, 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 back in the building. Yes, ma'am, ski. To let y'all know what the energy is surrounding you in love for the month of September 2023. But y'all know y'all can watch this whenever the hell y'all want to. But listen, I have no idea what sign we getting into. Um, I was trying to go from... Aries all the way through Pisces, but I'm like, I don't know why that gets so boring to me. It really does get so boring to me. So I just kind of wanted to shake things up a little bit. I seen another one of these readers that, you know, she be using her astral dice to see what sign she's going to read for next. So I said, let me, you know, steal a little bit of that from her real quick. Cause, um, yeah, we just about to just let it flow. So y'all, I'm about to grab my Astro Dice. I want to um, give a shout out to all my OGs, to all my newbies. Thank you guys for like, sharing, and subscribing, and sticking it in with your girl. Let's grab this Astro Dice and see what we got. Who are we reading for today? Who's getting a love reading this beautiful day? So that is Lee, yo. What it be, yo? Leo, we is in the building. All right, we are reloaded. Let's get into it, all right? Take a sip of my coffee in the name of Jesus. Hello. Mm-hmm. Praise God for the burnt toast and coffee time. Put my stuff on over here. All right. So, um, Leo, before we get into your reading today. Wait, hold on. Let me just write you down. Hold on. Before we get into our reading today, um, you know, I always give God praise and thanks. Um, so, Father God, I just want to quickly just come through and tell you uh thank you so much for waking us up today um thank you for giving us the guidance that we need to receive for the sign of leo please give us the nourishment that leo needs to receive today to help them um expand and broaden the love that they already have in their life or to help them call into call the love into their life that they're trying to receive in the future father god thank you for blessing us and protecting us amen amen and amen let's get into this reading shall we all right so let's see what energies we got surrounding my beautiful Leos in love for September. Let me see what we got, Leo. Leo, what it be, yo, baby? Leo, what it be, yo, baby? I don't know, y'all from New Orleans. I love somebody with a New Orleans accent. Ooh, Lord. Look. Mm, mm, mm. Don't ever let me. Ooh. Ooh, we got feel. Ooh. Y'all getting cards I ain't never seen before. I ain't, I have never gotten these cards when I'm doing my personal readings. Come on, feelings. All right. Someone is crushing on you. Ooh. Gonna be the sunshine in my day. Something to wash away the pain. I saw a very gentle side of him. That touched my heart and made it sing I wish you run away and hide with me Love is so much more than it seems There was one thing I didn't show oh, I love him and he doesn't know Ah, hold on, y'all know that Jeanne song I wonder if I ever see the day Will I ever find the nerve to say I love you ah! And will he turn around, walk away Will he leave or will he stay if I tell him Y'all that's your song Could he be the one who's in my dreams? Hey, could he be the one sit down for me? There was one thing I didn't show up. I love a man he doesn't know who is in love and crushing on somebody. And if y'all don't know what song that is, that is Zane Crush. Okay? Someone got a big crush. And I want to say their feelings is being kept under the table. Why are you not showing your feelings? Why is someone hiding their feelings? Uh-uh, let me write this down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That is so cute. That is so cute. And then when I split the deck, I got the temperance and the justice cards. So, it's like... I really want to take this energy 
And then you got the seven of chalices and the queen of pentacles in the reverse. Hold on. So someone right here is like going back and forth within their self. Trying to figure out like the right approach. Mm. I feel like this person may ask you for forgiveness for them not expressing how they felt before. Like, I feel like they should have said this shit a long time ago. And whoever this is, Leo, like my Leo females, you know. Yo, is this girl holding a ring? She is like, y'all see, she's holding a ring and like she's writing something. I just heard the word serendipity. Someone is feeling like serendipity inside. Leo, I'm getting there's somebody that really, really loves you, that very much so adores you. You bring tranquility and serendipity into this person's life. Um, do not be surprised because especially with this justice here and the temperance, this person is, um, I want to say been consulting God a lot about their approach. They just want to make sure that they come at you right. And they want it to be well receptive. They want you to be well receptive of the way that they're trying to advance you in their life. I feel like someone is trying to step up in a way that they should have a long time ago. I feel like someone is more expressive of their feelings and not scared to show. Well, I'm getting like remote, remote. Remote. So when I hear the word remote, it's like it's controlled in a confined space. You know what I'm saying? It's like remote control to me gives me like something is controlled in a home environment. It might not be exposed to the outside world about like how you feel about somebody or something like that. I feel like this is about to start to show. Um you could be getting engaged. I do see that this woman has a ring. She's holding a ring. I just keep hearing this person say, like, I really love you. I wish I would have expressed this a long time ago. I really, really love you. I was like, someone was scared to... Someone hid their feelings because I'm like, I feel like they're scared of rejection or something. And, you know, I don't, don't get offended. But y'all know, like, the Leo can also be known as the cowardly lion. You know what I'm saying? And then you got control on the top. So, yeah, this person was, like, trying to be in control at all times and not realizing, like, if you would express the way that you felt a little bit more, I feel like things could have gone differently. Someone is asking for forgiveness because it's like, I want you to see the way that I feel. I want you to hear the way that I feel. I want to show you the way that I feel. It's like, I don't want you to question anymore. You know? It's like, I'm pouring faith into what we have and I, 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 I really want it to grow. Let's see what else we got here. I just heard someone may want to go to church together. Fear. I told you this person is, is like scared of rejection or even manipulation. Alright, this is it. Because this person feels like when they allow people to penetrate them like that, they have fear of the control that you would have over them emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm giving this person too much power over me. Huh. I just heard if I don't show this woman how I feel, like, she, she'll leave. Like, it's like... She wants to see it, touch it, taste it, feel it. I just heard she was writing an ultimatum. She was writing an ultimate, uh, ultimatum and you came down there on, I'm down no bending knees. With that ring. Oh, so many nights I dream of you. Holding my pillow tight right now. And I open up my eyes. I'm sorry, y'all gonna kill me. And face reality. And 
every moment without you It seems like eternity I'm begging you, begging you Come back to me <laughs> Can we go back to the door? Oh, what is going on? Why y'all doing this to me? Ooh, I'm sorry, y'all gonna kill me for this singing Y'all don't click off your video <laughs> They'll be like, this bitch tripping. I'm going to come back in a few minutes. She won't get over this singing. She, this bitch ain't about to blow me today. I'm sorry, but it was coming out that way. Can we go back to the days our love was strong? Can you tell me how perfect love goes wrong? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Woo, we got a union. Woo, can somebody tell me how? Oh God, give me the reason I'm down on bending knees. Ah! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why well, just heard somebody say, I be trying to like this bitch, but she annoying. I don't give a fuck. Bye, bitch. The fuck on? No fuck on. We have fun over here. The fuck y'all talking about? And I cuss and I pray and all of that shit. So if y'all don't like the fact that I cuss, I'm loud and I get turned up. Get your ass the fuck off my page. Bri bri boy. The fuck you talking about? Anyway, <laughs> listen. Someone is very much so focused on this union. They're trying to make things right. They feel like if they just release their control and just be honest and allow things to happen naturally, like, you know, things will work itself out. Let's see what we got going on here. Can we go back to days of love? Look, it says, um, reconciliation, eternal, internal love. Your time has come. I told y'all reconciliation I know that's right look and then you I split the deck man you got husband didn't I just tell you that this man is offered this girl a ring he's professing his love like y'all might be getting married and then wifey material under that okay I'm done I'm done I'm absolutely the fuck done and then I split the other side says stupid for love I'm done I am done did he done 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 and then what else does it says On one side, it says, I like you because you were just like me. And then on the other side, I like you because you're different. So, there's one person that's holding on because they feel like y'all are just alike in so many ways. I feel like in regards to y'all wants, y'all desires, um, you guys want the same thing, but... You guys are like complete opposites. So you guys like might be opposite signs, you know? Um, so if you okay, so I'm a Scorpio. My opposite sign is Taurus. If you're a can if you're uh yeah, if you're a cancer, your opposite may be Capricorn, Sagittarius, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Leo, Virgo, Pisces, Aries, opposite is Libra, you know, so um you guys might be dating your opposite sign but yeah this is this is meant to be this is beautiful somebody about to fix this shit I'm like man ain't no look my 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 bitch coming up off the market the fuck y'all talking about what is y'all talking about all right and then you had the princess of swords and the queen of swords when i split the deck so just intuitively right now, I feel like the female energy, um, I just heard the queen stands alone. She's been focusing on herself and focusing on her work. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I wasn't going anywhere anyway. It's just like, I had to kind of cut you off and let you deal with yourself and figure out what the fuck you want. Like, you're not going to disturb my group. If you want to be here, you'll show me. Like, this woman was focused on her work. Because the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords is not someone that is like connected or attached to anyone. That's somebody that's single and more focused on um, 
their inner, you know what I'm saying? Their insides, like what they want inside and um, educating themselves spiritually and like tech technically. So I want to say this woman could have been watching you, um, especially with that uh, prince. I think it was a princess of swords or something like that. Like finding information talking to other people, finding out how other people feel about the situation. Um, also, like, reading up on techniques on, like, how to repair relationships um, in their own mind's eye, like, how to deal with processing emotions or something like that. Because I feel like this woman, I don't know if this woman could be an air sign or something like that. Yeah, because I said y'all's opposite Leo is Aquarius. So I don't know if y'all are... Because Aquarius can be very null and void of emotion. And you don't know what the fuck they're feeling. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck they're feeling. So I totally get that Queen of Swords and that uh, Princess of Swords. Like, you focus on you. I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to do more research to figure out how I need to better myself in this situation. Because I'm just, I don't have the energy to pay attention to you while you acting a fool. You know what I'm saying? Justice logic. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I, I'm not going to make a decision based off of emotion. I'm going to make a decision based off what is right. The female is very much so in control. And she wants a husband. And she is she is not settling for less. So have you gonna get yourself together or you gonna get cut the fuck out? And someone received that ultimate. Didn't I say something about she was writing the ultimatum earlier? I could have sworn I did. Y'all, didn't I say that? I know I said it. So before she even before the paint dried, before the ink dried. On this ultimatum left. He had already given her the ring. Like, look, I already know what you want. I, I look, don't even listen. <laughs> Got the six of swords. So th there was somebody that was mentally making a decision to leave. You got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. And you got the King of Wands in the reverse. So I feel like the, the female, the female in this situation was making a mental decision to leave. I don't know if y'all had kids involved or if she was, like I told y'all, she was doing research. She was listening to things. She was getting instructions or other insight on mentally how to gather herself to, together to finally make the movement to go. So she could have been listening to some self-help type of things that gave her the motive that gave her the highlights on what she needed to do to leave because it just seemed like and again she's receiving assistance it's like getting help to get her mind together she wants to control the situation she wants and she desires a husband and I don't know if the male energy wasn't working because like this could mean like a loss of employment or someone just don't see their self. The Eight of Pentacles could be like a um, shoddy workmanship. So it's like you got the title, but you're not really putting the work in to deserve your keep. So it's like someone could have been demoted. Because your work product isn't showing, it's not measuring up to the title of which you hold. You got the king of wands in the reverse, so it's like, I always take that as someone that's not present. It's like, in that page of wands in the reverse, like, could have been promiscuous, could have been lazy, um... Yeah, I'm just getting like a lazy, lethargic energy. It just wasn't not pulling yourself together. Like I feel like this man could have been um, letting himself go because, like, I'm feeling like extra body weight and all of that stuff. Just like laying in the couch, like 
giving me like some type of lazy energy or something. And I feel like she didn't want that. She didn't want that at all. But this, I, I honestly feel like this man. Does this person leave? Because this man is begging her not to leave. You got the Ten of Cups. And then you got the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. No, she not leaving. She's staying for her family. Everything's going to work out. I don't see her leaving. I don't see her leaving. And with the Queen of Pentacles, most definitely wifey material. Like, I want to say she's the breadwinner. Is the female the breadwinner? The Eight of Pentacles. Why well, I feel like someone could have lost their job. And I'm not reading all, I'm not reading all of that. I promise you on that. Yeah, the wifey material is breadwinner. Trying to find some temperance and peace in their home. Oh, no, that's the Ten of Cups. That's the Ten of Cups. There's like emotional wealth in the house. That's, that's what's needed here. I love the way she looks, baby. She is beautiful. I love me. Oh, I love me a Korean bitch. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Give me one more card. I'll be wrapping this up. What's the conclusion of this? What's the conclusion of this? Thank you so much. Oh. Why you gotta give me so many cards? I don't want so many cards. You got the Queen of Cups. You got the Chariot. And you got the Nine of Cups. Everything works out good. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. And then you got the full, brand new beginning. Okay. All right. I am reloaded. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. I feel like someone was about to fuck up and it was about to lose their girl. Someone was about to fuck up and lose their wife. And this woman is wifey material. This woman knows how to keep a house together. She knows how to keep herself up. She keep herself up. Up. Okay? And again, like the um, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse is like a fucked up reputation. Like, it's something about what this man was doing was making her look bad. I ain't even about to hold you. Whatever this person was doing was not... You weren't looking the part. You weren't acting the part. You weren't putting the, the, the work in to hold that title. And she was most definitely about to demote you. Okay? So I don't know if there's somebody that needs to hear. Like, this what you need to do before you lose your bitch. But someone was very close to getting a fucking demotion. And I don't think that's what you want. This man adores and loves this woman. I just feel like he kind of got lost in his own world or something like that. Like, get back on your fitness. Get get back on your fitness because there's something about this man's body not being in shape and stuff like that. And I want to say it it harms your performance. Uh, possibly in bed. I'm uh, trying to be shady or nothing like that. But in regards to the overall how this thing is ending, um, we got the fool. So, you know, you guys are like, look. She's, she she forgives you. She's giving you a clean slate. Y'all can start over. This woman loves you. And she's emotionally sure that she wants to be here. She just wants to see you step up a little bit. She just wants to see... She loved it when you were in love with yourself. And I don't know where you lost that or where you let that go. But she had to put an ultimatum on the table for you to get that flame popping back again. Alright? Alright? So, Leo, I'm about to get up out of here. I love y'all. Thank y'all for loving me, y'all. Let me know how this resonates down in the chat. Make sure you hit that like button. I'll see y'all later. Peace.